hi guys this is the 2012 exam pass paper syllabus d <coughs> okay so i'm starting with question one question one a it says evaluate question one a evaluate two one over three minus two one over four divided by one one over two okay so as we can see this uh fraction it's in mixed fraction so we are going to convert them into a proper fraction so three times two which is six six plus one which is seven over three minus four times two which is eight plus one which is nine over four we divide by two times one which is two plus one which is three over two okay so from here we are going to use board mass so if we follow the rule of board mass which means that we are going to start with the divide by and then subtraction so going to start with divide by so 7 over 3 minus okay so what is in the bracket we have 9 over 4 divide by will change to multiplication and then 2 will be the numerator 3 will tend to be the denominator so we have 7 over 3 minus 3 into 3 it's 1, 3 into 9 is 3, 2 into 2 it's 1, 2 into 4 is 2, so we have 3 over 2, which is equal to 7 over 3 minus 3 over 2. So from here we are going to look for the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2, which is 6. 6 divided by 3 it's 2, 2 times 7 it's 14, minus 6 divided by 2 it's 3, 3 times 3 it's 9. So 14 minus 9 it's 5 over 6 so this is our answer <coughs> then we got to b which is solve the equation 6 over x plus 2 is equal to 2 over 3 this is actually a 2 mark so <coughs> this is actually a free mark so from here we are going to cross multiply 2 multiply with x plus 2 is equal to 3 multiply with the 6 and remember don't omit any step eh? 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4 is equal to 3 times 6 is 18 and then correct like terms 2x is equal to 18 minus 4 2x is equal to 18 minus 4 is what 14 we divide by 2 divide by 2 so x is equal to what 7 this is our answer then <clears throat> let me go to question c question 1c which says simplify it's here simplify x plus 2 over x squared minus 4 simplify x x plus 2 over x squared minus 4 so the numerator is okay now the denominator actually it's a different of two squares so here it means that we are going to write it like this x squared minus 2x squared okay so since it's different of 2x squared it will be x minus 2 over x plus 2 like this x minus 2 times x plus 2 of course this and this you can divide you can cancel them therefore you have 1 over x minus 2 so this is our answer then we go to question d okay <clears throat> question d says a sugar cane stick has 11 equal segments given that one third of it is spoiled by stock borrowers Calculate the number of remaining segments giving your answer correct to two decimal presses okay so first you must first try to understand what the question is is requesting you to do okay so here it's saying that a sugar cane stick with 11 sticks so let me let this one to be a sugar cane a sugar cane stick okay? So I'm going to divide into 11 segments. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So these are the segments. I'm, these are the segments. Now, given that one third of it is spoiled by stock borrowers. One third. One third actually it's one over three. 1 over 3 of 11 stock, they actually spoiled. I get the number of remaining segments. So, 1 third of the 11, they are spoiled. So, let's first calculate uh, the number of those which are spoiled. Okay. So, which means that we have 
1 times 11, it's 11 over 3. So 11 over 3, they are spored. So for you to know the, the number of the remaining segment, just subtract 11 minus 11 over 3. So this is a fraction actually of which we have 11 over 1 minus 11 over 3. The lowest common multiple here is what? It's 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 11 is 33 minus 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. So 33 minus 11 is what? It's 22 over 3. This is a fraction. Now the question is, is saying, giving your answer correct two decimal presses. So since in syllabus D, you are allowed to use a calculator. So just press 22 divided by 3. Collect to two decimal press. So you are having 7.33. So this is our answer. Okay. I'm going to question 2 now. Question 2. Which says, question 2A. Given that A is a matrix. A is 2, negative 1, 3, 5. And then B, it's 2, 3. Okay. Find the determinant of A. Find the determinant of A. Okay. So, to find the determinant. Determinant is equal to major diagonal. Major diagonal minus minor diagonal. So, the product of major diagonal minus the product of the minor diagonal. So, we have, this is our major diagonal. So, our major diagonal. This is our minor diagonal. So, which means that we have 2 times 5 minus negative 1 times 3. So, 2 times 5 is 10 minus negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3. Then, negative times negative, as we all know, it's what? It's a positive. 10 plus 3, which is 13. So, this is our determinant, okay? Then, Roman numeral 2 says the inverse of A. So, the inverse of A, the inverse of A is equal to 1 over your determinant times. In your major diagonal, you multiply by a negative. Major diagonal, you multiply by a negative. So I'm having, so I'm going to have negative 2 and negative 5. Then minor diagonal, you exchange. So 3 will be where negative 1 is. Negative 1 will be where ne uh, 3 was. Like this. And then we know that our determinant is what? 13. So we have 1 over 13. And then open blankets. 2, negative 1, 3, negative 5. This is the inverse. If you want, actually, you can expand expanding i mean you multiply one over three with the, each and every element which is inside your blankets okay then question three question three we have find the value of a b find the value of a b actually a b is a product a times b in short okay so where we we have a which is two negative one three five then b we have which is two three okay so you multiply by row by column so two times two times two it's four plus three times three is nine and then you come here negative one times two it's negative two then five times three it's what 15 okay so four plus nine it's 13 negative two plus 15 is 13 so this is the, your answer then i'll go to question 2b Question 2b. It says, express this as a single fraction in its simplest form. Express 4 over 2x minus 1 minus 3 over x minus 1 as a single fraction in its simplest form. This question actually is very simple. And, and the examiner, they are saying it's a 3 mark. 3 marks, okay? So, which means just bring this down to be your lowest common denominator. 2x minus 1, x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 into your lowest common denominator, you're going to have x minus 4. So I'm going to multiply 4 times x minus 1. I've illustrated here. Minus, this is minus, this is my 3. x into my lowest common denominator, this and this will cancel. So I'm going to multiply my 3 with 2x minus 1. Okay. So 4 times x is 4x. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 3 times 2x is what? 6x, and then negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Then you write your lowest common denominator. Okay, so from here you collect the like terms. 
4x minus 6x, they are like them because they have got x. Then negative 4 plus 3, they are constants. Then your lowest common denominator, you have it, x minus 1. Okay. So 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. Minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1 over your lowest common denominator, which is x minus 1. Then 2x minus 1. So this is your answer. This is actually your 3 mark. Can't, can't you imagine that? Okay. Uh, now we come to C.